What's up, family? I'm out here today recording some messages for y'all. I've been called to f- just put this stuff out. This is an important one right here. Many people feel like we cannot, we can't do the things that we want to do. When this is like completely far from the truth because you're a physical human being. The people around you that you're seeing doing things that for whatever reason you think you cannot, they're doing them. They're a physical human being just like you. We put like a level to this and think that we're maybe down here and these people that are creating things and doing what they want, they're up here for some reason. Or sometimes you hear people say, no, they were born into that. They have family that helped them get that. You would honestly be surprised how many very put together, very rich people came from nothing as well. We're not going to use the limiting beliefs and say, yeah, but what about all the people that came from rich backgrounds and then did... That's besides the point. You have the capabilities to create into this life. And it's why you're here. I'm not sure if you're unaware of that yet. I haven't been able to personally talk with you just yet. (laughs) Maybe one day we'll get a chance. Comment down below. Let me know. I love to speak with you. Get on a call with me for real. Book a call with me. We can go over more in detail what it is that you really want to bring into this life. And I can help you in whatever way that's necessary to really get you on the right track of things. When people say they've manifested, I have manifested many things into my life that I always saw in my mind beforehand. I didn't just pull them out of nowhere land. I held it within the mind like a seed, literally. Like we plant a seed. And then I gave it the time and the work needed. And I pulled it into my reality. It might not sound as magical as we think the word manifestation should bring. But there definitely was some magic to it along the way. A lot of these things that I've created, there are times where I would say, I don't know how that worked so perfectly. (laughs) That was incredible. How did this thing just align in such a way? And it seems as if everything that I feel as if I've manifested and brought into this life, it was all the same. I, I was completely blown away on how each of these things lined up in such a perfect moment in time for me to in turn create that into my reality. So these forces, the unseen forces that we do not realize, laws of the universe, they're working all around us at all times and we can use them to our advantage. The law of vibration, the law of attraction, they're big ones to a part of the law a part of manifestation in general. People talk about the law of assumption. This is assuming that the state is already done. Whatever it is you want to manifest, you you want to assume that it is already done. And the reason behind this is, as you assume that the state already is, you are living in that vibration, in that frequency, or living as close to as you possibly can and that's where the law of vibration comes in where does the law of attraction come in the law of attraction comes in as we're living on a set vibrational frequency like attracts like we start to attract things within that same frequency we might not rope in a million dollars and just be able to drag it right to us but in the same way if you started to act and live as if a millionaire you would have friends that do the same thing as you're just living normally hanging out with these people you may just come across an 
a simple idea that you'd be super surprised that all of a sudden leads you into creating that million dollars or maybe a million dollar idea that you're just that so many of us think you know it's completely unattainable that's out of my reach I beg to differ my friend <laughs> it's not that I've been surprised all my life to notice and, and still surprised after the fact even once I have created these things into my life how did that align in such a perfect moment the odds of that seem so insane I just can't imagine but this was something that I spoke into existence I said it over and over I will do this I will do this and this and then I seem to put in my effort in whatever physical steps I could take to, to try to get closer and closer to that point. And then other things just lined up perfectly to allow me to, to do that or have that or bring it into my life. That was the attraction part. Me living and acting as if it was going to happen, saying it was happening. living on the vibration, living in the ways of what I would live like if I had this or was doing this. And then the alignment works in its mysterious ways that it does. It's in this way that you need to use these laws. You can continue thinking of it in this magical form if you want, and that's fine, because it's enjoyable. And, and just like I said, you will notice it will feel magical when you notice after the fact, how did this stuff align in such a way that I can't even explain? What is this? Even though, yeah, you put in work, but look at it in a further back, in a more grand scale. I built an apartment, and I maybe a year or so ago for a buddy. I was trying to put it all together for a certain price, basically, so I was being careful on looking for items. Wouldn't you know, literally everything I needed, it was just popping up in places wherever I needed it for me to be able to create it in the way that I, I could for myself, my budgets. Many people will say, yeah, but you could just, uh, of course, the stuff's everywhere. How about, just for instance, I wired this whole apartment. I get the whole thing wired. You wire it with a certain kind of electrical wire. I got the whole thing done, I thought, until it got to a certain point and I realized, dang, I'm going to need just a little bit more. I used all the roll that I bought. I didn't want to buy a new roll because they're like, it's like a hundred dollars. It's like a hundred dollars for just the the next roll. I needed a toilet as well for this apartment, so I was looking around, looking around. The night before, I find this toilet. I'm thinking in my mind, dang, I need I need more of that wire. I have this thought, literally, it comes to my mind as I'm laying in bed at night. Dang, I'm going to need more more electrical wire. <clears throat> Next morning, I wake up, looking on the internet, find this toilet. I'm going to go meet this person and go get it. When I get there, this person had completely redone their whole house. They had two new toilets in boxes in their apartment. And there were many things just strode, like, everywhere. The apartment was kind of a wreck, to be honest <laughs> He says, pick one, man, just pick one. They're both the same. So, <laughs> I couldn't tell. The boxes look exactly the same. I picked one. Put it in my put it in my car, do everything, get ready to head out. And before I close my door, I, I just open the boxes. I'm like, I probably should look at the toilet before I leave, right? I open it up and see at the bottom. I'm like, wait a second. There's something yellow down there. I kind of was like, nah, whatever toilet looks fine I'm thinking about it as I'm driving away and I'm like that electrical wire I need is yellow 
And it kind of looked exactly like what I saw in the bottom of that box. Well, I get back to the house. Wouldn't you know, I open up the box. And there was just enough wire in there for me to do exactly what I needed to finish out the electrical in that house. And it wasn't a brand new roll. It was like he had opened it up, used how much ever he needed. It was still in the plastic and stuff, but he just took some out. It was exactly what I needed. And I put this on everything. I thought about it the night before laying in bed that, man, I'm going to need some more electrical wire. This is something simple. Many people are not so excited to manifest electrical wire exactly. <laughs> but you can imagine how excited I was that I needed it and I didn't have to pay an extra hundred bucks. I got the toilet for a great deal and I got free wire. Or I got the toilet for less and paid a little bit more for the wire. However you want to put it. I created or the universe created and aligned it perfectly for me to find a toilet I needed as well as electrical wire that I needed without having to purchase more and really spend that extra hundred. <laughs> so it's in this way. You'll notice alignments. Sometimes you might not recognize it at all and it might take years down the road and you think back and you're like, Everything I really have that was, that really is something nice, it seemed to just come to me over time. Yeah, you might have put in some effort or work, but it was that the alignment allowed it to be in front of you. And then you just chose to recognize it and then act on it. But it came right in front of your human figure in some type of way and you chose to act on it. And sometimes we might not con we might consciously not recognize we might not be consciously recognizing that we're even taking the correct decision at the time. That's why I say that's where the magic can come in this manifestation. You'll just notice all of a sudden later on, wait a second. How did this align so perfectly right here? Out of all the toilets I could have found online and gone and bought theirs or theirs or theirs, I was supposed to go to his that morning <laughs> and get his. And he just had yellow <laughs> electrical wire in his box. There was a toilet. He wasn't trying to give it away, I imagine. <laughs> but the universe was. It knew I needed it. In whatever way, maybe it knew that he no longer needed it. <laughs> That's just one of the stories. That's just a simple one for you to recognize. Little things get taken care of all along the way. And in the same way we can create these small little things, I've created large things. I've been able to create a wonderful stock portfolio from this same process. Being able to put in effort to create, with my effort, enough money to put into stocks, but I had to make the decision that I'm putting money into stocks, this could be a risk right here. And then once doing that, I was always saying previous to that, I'm going to create some money, and I'm going to put it into investments, and then I'm gonna, it's going to multiply into large amounts. Once again, it was almost if I had said this into the universe over and over and lived, lived as if it was already done. When it comes time for me to get into that area, I get into the exact stocks needed. Like I said, the things will align in front of you, and we may not consciously be aware. I still could have been looking at it like, I just don't know if this is, is, this is going to be safe or not. And most people would say that. Is it really is it really safe that you're doing that? <laughs> I had all kinds of grown people telling me this. They were telling me you should sell, you should get out of this, you shouldn't do that. 
it was supposed to be for me. In the same way, you will have things that are supposed to be for you. And when you feel this conviction about it, you follow your intuition and your discernment using it. And these things will align for you. When you really put that care into it and you really want it, the law of assumption, really assuming that it is already done. I said this many times, previous to me even knowing anything about the stock market. I was going to create money and then place it in investments and turn it into multiple amounts. I didn't know in what way I was going to invest it. I didn't know if that was even investing in stocks. I had, my, I had thoughts all the time. Maybe I'll invest into a different type of business and be able to grow it that way. It just so happened that life aligned in such a way that I was guided to look into stocks. Immediately was shown a businessman that I recognized that I had never heard anyone speak like before on this planet. And I knew that that was where I needed to place my money. There's going to be things just like this in your life. I am no one special to be talking one way or this way up whatever happens for your life is exactly what is supposed to happen for your life and you just have to live in that state of feeling what you know that you want in this life assuming that it is already done not like oh, I think it is like literally living that this is this I'm not taking no for an answer you can exclaim it to everybody you know. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. Tell them all. If they laugh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go over here and tell this person. And you can stay over there. You wholeheartedly believe forever that what you want will come into this world. And you put in the effort along the way. It was not no effort for me to learn the stock market. I put in effort. I cared about it. I wanted to learn. I looked into information around every corner. I studied it as daily as I could. But the right moments were attracted to me and aligned. And I was able to achieve my manifestation goals, you could say. The word manifestation really gets thrown around a lot lately, but I wanted to make this video to kind of make it in a clear-cut idea of how it's going to come to you and not really put in a lot of extra of the magic that people imagine up front. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Once again, you believe in yourself and believe in exactly what you want to bring into this world and you put in your effort towards it and you do not give up on thinking about it. You be relentless towards it. You figure out every source of knowledge you can possibly ask and find out and question about this region. And as you do that, the things will align in your path for you to walk into them. And as you walk into them, you might not be just walking only. You might be taking action along the way. But then for some of you, you might literally walk into it. I literally walked into a man's house and he had wire in a box with a toilet that I was buying. Once again, super simple idea. But you get the gist of that. What are the odds of that? Yeah, the man's remodeling. But what are the odds that I go to that guy's house? The very next morning, he has the yellow wire in there. Nothing else in the box, by the way. No other piece of trash. One only yellow wire. And this ain't regular wire. This is literally yellow Romax electrical wire for wiring the plugs and switches in a house. I didn't get some off-brand stuff. It was literally exactly what I needed. So just keep this in your mind, family. Everything that you need, it will align in your path if you put forth the effort and care and show this world that that's what you want to bring into it. So much love, family. My name is Macaulay Sage. This is my cat king. I hope y'all are doing such wonderful things into this life. And if you're not used today to start to practice putting wonderful things into this life. 
I love every single one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. Peace, family.